Everyone, this is Tim from YourSex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Victris Pro BFG controller on your computer, and then also how to get the software installed. And this is actually really easy to do, but it can kind of be annoying because sometimes your controller won't be connected, and it's going to pop up an error. So let's go on over to my computer right now, and go to Google.com, and then go to PDP, press Enter, and you want to go to pdp.com. So let's go here. And here is the website. Go on over to where it says Victrix right here. Or you can see the app. So you can go to Victrix and you can see the apps right here. But it's going to bring you to the app section. And we want to get the Victrix Control Hub. Now, some people who are having problems might have downloaded the PDB Control Hub right here. We want to get the Victrix Control Hub. So if you download the wrong application, probably going to have some errors. So go ahead and download this. And it should pop open when you go ahead and do that. But if it doesn't, scroll on down to the bottom here. And there will be another download link right here called Download App. And this is what prompts a download for me. And it's going to open up the Microsoft Store. Otherwise, you can just go to the Microsoft Store and look for Victorious Control App. And then go to Install. Boom. So I already have this installed on my computer. So I can go on over to it right now. And this is what it looks like once I have it installed. Kind of like uh, purple or blue. So if it's green and with an Xbox controller, you downloaded the wrong application. So now that we have this up, we want to connect our controller with a USB cable first. And then go to your controller and put it into the PC mode. So if you look at all these little dials right here, you can see I'm on the PlayStation 5. So I want to bring this down to PC. All right, so I'm on PC. Then on the back, we want to go from the wireless little symbol over to wired. So we want to switch this to wired also. All right, that's connected. Now I have a USB cable right here connected to the front of my computer. Then I'm going to plug this in, and my computer should detect it. And it should be detected on the application as well. All right, so I can go back over to Desktop 2, and here is my controller. Now I can move around the screen with my controller, otherwise I can just use my mouse and keyboard. So I can move, you can see left and right, and then I can go to Update if it doesn't prompt an update. And mine is up to date already. I can go to configure. I can remap the buttons. So just choose the original button and then the new button. Then you can remap the back paddles on here. You can change the dead zones on your controller. So just click into here and then you can use the thumbstick on the controller to increase it or decrease. Well, it's really easy. So I'm going to click in here. You can see the dead zones are going up. Just use the thumbsticks on the controller once you click in there. You can make them larger or smaller. And then this is something you want to do for sure. You want to bring down the left trigger and make sure it's not so sensitive. Then the same thing with the right trigger. Just bring it down a little bit so it doesn't go off so easily. And here's the audio if you use the audio right there. Now, if your controller is not connecting, well, there's one thing you're going to want to go ahead and do. So it's going to open up a support page on your computer. And it's going to look like this. You want to scroll all the way down. To the bottom of this. So keep on going. It's going to give you a lot of good information, but it says could not connect Victris Control App right here. What you want to do is read this all. And at the bottom, you want to go to this little download right here Victrix Compatibility Reg right here and install this. And then locate this file in your downloads whenever you download or wherever you place it. So mine's in the downloads. It's right here. Just run this little file you downloaded and that should allow your controller to go ahead and work. Otherwise, go to Task Manager. Then go to your startup applications right here. And just try disabling everything under here. So I know Steam could be trying to use your controller. So you want to disable Steam and then restart everything. 
and see if that helps fix your issue. So Steam could be causing that. So go ahead and disable it on startup. Maybe the Xbox app is trying to use your controller too. Just go ahead and disable everything, restart your computer, and then come back to this app, and you should be good to go now. Just make sure everything is correct on your controller. Then also you're going to want to go ahead and connect with the dongle to update the dongle too. So you'll have to switch everything over to wireless on your controller when you connect the dongle. And then you should be able to update that as well. And sometimes when it's updating, it, it may not display correctly where it's not moving at all, but you leave it sit for like 30 minutes and you come back and nothing's happened, but the controller is actually updated. You just disconnect it and you should be good to go. Hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.